A. Type 1 civilization represents a society that surpasses the capabilities of any known on Earth. Such a civilization operates on a planetary scale, meaning it possesses the expertise to utilize all available resources on its home planet. Moreover, it possesses the skill to harness the entire energy output of its world. If the universe is full of advanced alien civilizations, where does humanity rank? Despite the remarkable strides our species has made so far, are we still a speck on the cosmic scale? And if that is so, what must we do to ascend to the next level? Let's talk about the Kardashev scale and how it allows us a peek into what could be the future of humanity. In a relatively short time, humanity has made remarkable advancements in its journey towards becoming the complex civilization we are today. Our collective mindset has evolved significantly, adapting to the ever-expanding pool of knowledge at our disposal. This drive to explore and challenge our perceived limits has been a pivotal aspect of our growth. Nevertheless, it is fair to acknowledge that we still confront substantial challenges within our way of life, demanding our immediate attention. These challenges encompass not only natural disasters, such as floods, but also challenges of our own making, such as warfare, poverty, and the relentless degradation of our environment. These pressing issues, perhaps, are among the primary impediments hindering our species from achieving even greater progress. One tool for assessing our journey is the Kardashev scale, which provides a measure of our exhilarating scientific discoveries weighed against the tumultuous consequences we inadvertently bring about. Many scientists assert that the upcoming century holds the key to determining whether humanity thrives or faces potential extinction and the Kardashev scale stands as the sole metric for envisioning the characteristics of an advanced extraterrestrial civilization. The Kardashev scale serves as a framework for categorizing the technological capabilities of a civilization, primarily based on its energy usage. Originating in 1964, this scale was introduced by Nikolai Kardashev, a Soviet astronomer. Initially, Kardashev's system, outlined in his paper Transmission of Information by Extraterrestrial Civilizations, outlined three distinct categories contingent upon a species' technological achievements. Kardashev's ingenuity lay in creating a scale rooted in energy, quantifying civilizations based on the amount of energy they can access. His scale ranged from planetary societies to stellar societies, and even encompassed vast empires spanning entire galaxies. The rationale behind this classification was Kardashev's belief that a civilization's status fundamentally hinged on its technological prowess, intricately intertwined with its energy utilization. According to his theory, a civilization's progress correlated directly with its energy harnessing capabilities. The more energy a society could tap into, the swifter and more advanced its technology could become, suggesting that a civilization's growth is contingent upon its mastery of energy. Although the scale originally focused on cosmic energy consumption, subsequent developments have expanded its scope. Since the 1960s, additional categories, including Type 0, Type 4 and Type 5 civilizations have been proposed, broadening the scale's horizons. These advanced levels not only consider energy, but also incorporate diverse metrics, surpassing pure energy availability and production. In the Kardashev scale, a Type 0 civilization signifies a society that remains within a sub-global culture. Such a civilization relies on primitive methods to extract energy and raw materials, predominantly from organic sources like wood, coal and oil. Any space exploration efforts of a Type 0 civilization would be limited to rockets powered by chemical propulsion. 
Considering the vastness of the cosmos, the slow pace of chemical propulsion would confine this civilization primarily to its home planet. Consequently, it would be restricted to harnessing only the energy available within its immediate environment. This category also encompasses civilizations that have not yet fully mastered the energy resources of their home planet. Remarkably, humanity falls into this Type 0 category. Despite our technological achievements, we still rely on deceased plants and animals, such as fossil fuels, to meet our energy needs. As of 1973, we were classified as a Type 0.7 civilization, indicating that we have made some progress but are still far from advancing to Type 1. According to estimates, it may take another 200 years before humanity ascends to the next level, Type 1, on the Kardashev scale. Additionally, a Type 1 civilization might have the ability to tap into the energy resources of a neighboring star, gathering and storing this energy efficiently to meet the demands of its growing population. To put this into perspective, humans would need to enhance our current energy production by a staggering 100,000 times to attain this level of advancement. The mastery over a planet's energy would empower such a civilization to harness power from natural forces, like weather patterns, volcanic activities, and seismic events. Furthermore, advanced power sources such as nuclear fusion and antimatter would be readily accessible for a Type 1 civilization. Hey Spacers, as we continue to explore the types of civilizations that we can aspire to be, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel and click the bell to be notified of new and awesome space content. And now, on to more types of civilizations. A Type 2 civilization is envisaged to embrace a stellar culture and exist several thousand years ahead of our current stage of evolution. Such a society would not only utilize its planet's resources efficiently, but also possess the capability to harness the entire energy output of its parent star. This mastery over stellar energy goes beyond merely tapping into starlight. It involves cultivating the star's power at a profoundly intimate level. Various methods have been proposed to achieve this, with the most prominent being the hypothetical concept of a Dyson Sphere. This colossal megastructure would encircle the entire star, capturing a significant portion of its energy output, which could then be transferred back to the civilization's home planet for utilization. Another proposed method involves achieving complete mastery over fusion power, the same mechanism that fuels stars. If successfully harnessed, this technology could enable the construction of a colossal fusion reactor, satisfying civilization's vast energy needs. Furthermore, this advanced society might utilize nearby gas giants as a fuel source for their orbiting fusion reactors. At this advanced stage, a civilization is expected to have colonized multiple planets within its local system. This interplanetary expansion not only signifies their advanced technological capabilities, but also substantially reduces the risk of extinction unless such a catastrophe is self-inflicted. A Type 3 civilization is characterized by a galactic culture with the remarkable ability to harness the energy output of an entire galaxy. This level of achievement is staggering, surpassing a Type II civilization's energy output by approximately 10 billion times. Such a society stands about a million years ahead of humanity's current evolutionary stage. In their expansive journey, a Type III civilization would have colonized an entire galaxy, establishing a presence on countless worlds and harvesting energy from billions of stars. The magnitude of their power would enable interstellar travel on a grand scale, 
leading to the exploration and habitation of distant planets across the vast cosmic expanse. The technological prowess of a civilization at this level is beyond our current comprehension and imagination. Their capabilities would likely extend to harnessing energy from extreme celestial phenomena such as black holes, quasars and gamma ray bursts. A Type IV civilization represents the epitome of cosmic achievement, likely universal in scale, with an intergalactic culture spanning the entire expanse of the universe. Such a civilization possesses the unparalleled ability to traverse the cosmos freely, harnessing the power of a billion trillion suns. At this level, these civilizations command energies beyond our comprehension, enabling them to embark on projects of superhuman proportions. Their capabilities might extend to manipulating the very fabric of space-time, a feat far beyond humanity's current grasp. They could potentially harness energy sources unknown to us or even fundamentally alter the laws of physics as we understand them. It is speculated that these advanced beings might inhabit supermassive black holes leveraging these enigmatic structures to navigate the accelerating expansion of space. If a civilization continues to move forward, it may become a Type 5 society representing the pinnacle of advancement, characterized by a multiverse culture. In this transcendent state, such a civilization has outgrown its original universe and gained the ability to manipulate entire universes within the multiverse. The beings of this species would wield incomprehensible power and capabilities, surpassing the boundaries of imagination and understanding. It can be disheartening to realize that we have yet to achieve Type 1 status. However, it's crucial to acknowledge that on the cosmic scale, humanity is still in its infancy. While our progress continues steadily, it's a somber truth that our greatest obstacle lies within ourselves. For our species to advance, we must prioritize caring for one another and the stunning planet we inhabit. By fostering compassion and stewardship, we can pave the way for a future where humanity not only survives, but thrives, ultimately unlocking the potential for greater achievements on the vast cosmic stage. What do you think, Spacers? Does humanity have what it takes to progress on the Kardashev scale? And where do you see our species ending up? Can we make it to level 5? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for spacing out with us and see you next video.